a very good morning to all my students of class 4 today i am going to teach you english language chapter 1 the sentence now children i think you all know what is a sentence a sentence is a group of words that are put together to mean something or that makes a complete sense. Suppose I'm telling the child. Is this a sentence? No. Blue sky. Is this a sentence? No. These are incorrect sentences. Now I'm giving you some jumbled words. Revolves, sun, the, earth, the, round. Now, if I want to put it in a correct sentence, how shall I write? The earth revolves around the sun. Now here the earth is the subject and rest like revolves around the sun is the predicate. So revolves here is verb. Proper definition of a sentence is a sentence is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb and that expresses a statement, a question, etc. So, when a sentence is written, it begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, children, you have to remember some points. First of all, it should be a sentence to start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Now, naming part. Naming part means subject. It will have a subject and the stating the rest of the sentence that is the predicate. And it will have punctuation mark. Punctuation can be a full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, etc. Okay. Now, there are different kinds of sentences. As per your book, what are that? Statement, question, command, exclamation. So, as a statement, we say assertive sentence. Assertive or declarative sentence. Second is interrogative sentence. That is a question. Ends with a question mark. As now, next is imperative sentence. Imperative sentence can be a command, request, advice or suggestion. Now, next, last is exclamatory sentence. That is exclamation. It ends with a exclamation mark. So, you see, ex expresses a strong feeling or a sudden strong feeling. It will be an exclamatory sentence. All these examples are given in your book. So, you can write one example from each type of sentences for each type of sentence now starts subject and predicate so every complete sentence contains two parts a subject and a predicate so remember every complete sentence two parts a subject and a predicate the subject is, is what or whom the sentence is about. While the predicate tells something about the subject. So sentence is equal to subject plus predicate. Example. The puppy is in the garden. Now the puppy that is the subject. And is in the garden. Means I am talking about the puppy is where in the garden. That is is in the garden is the predicate. Another example, the sun rises in the east. So, the sun is the subject. Rises in the east is the predicate. Now, mark the homework I am giving you in your book. And follow the instructions given below. First of all, page number 2. Exercise A and B. Do all your uh, do all in your book with pencil. Exercise C. Do all in your notebook. 
page number 10 and 11. Do in your notebook and copy the question. Use pencil. Exercise A, 1, 3 and 4. Exercise B, 1, 3 and 5. Exercise C, all. Exercise D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 and 10. Exercise E, 1, 2, 3. Exercise F, 1, 2, 3. Exercise Z, G, 1, 2, 3. Page number 4 and 5. That is kinds of sentences. You will do exercise A, all. Exercise B, 1, 2, 3. Exercise C, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exercise D, 1, 2, 3. Exercise E, all. Now come to page number 8. That is subject and predicate. Exercise A, all. Exercise B, 1, 2, sorry, exercise C, 1, 2, 10.